Bulkiness is the nightmare of every phone user. We don't want to go back to the brick phones, do we? Hello? Hi everyone and welcome back to Need to Know. Just when we thought we could honestly sum up this year's foldable phones and trends, Motorola stopped us in our tracks. In a week from now, they're gonna do what Samsung had a hard time realizing – a foldable clamshell is what people want. Good old Motorola is going to launch Motorola Razr. No fancy code name, no extra numbers. We're naming this phone. The brand is gonna reinvent the iconic Razer V3. If the name doesn't ring a bell, you must remember the design. That silver clamshell with the outside screen and the Motorola logo on the bottom. A legendary flip phone that ruled the market until iPhone came along. Today, Apple is going to reinvent the phone. Here it is. More than 130 million units were sold and that got the title for the best-selling clamshell phone in the world. This time around, they're not just gonna flip it, they're gonna unfold it. The keyboard will be replaced by display, so when you open the phone, you'll have two displays into one slick 6.2-inch OLED screen. No bump in sight, you'll find the extra third screen on the outside. You're gonna need it to see notifications and play with media controls. Now, this may be a stretch, but maybe the primary camera will also be the selfie camera. In which case, the third screen could show how your selfie might end up. It's a stretch. I'm curious what you guys think. What's not a stretch, come to think of it, it's a perfect fit, is the size of the phone when folded. From what we've seen in the leaks, it's gonna be extremely compact. You'll use it with one hand easily. Super thin, too. Bulkiness is the nightmare of every phone user. This Motorola Razr may just fit the pockets and clutch bags and mini backpacks. That's something we almost resigned ourselves to lose ever since companies started making the screens bigger year after year. So, Motorola Razr may be the first foldable phone with a clamshell design. And the first to actually own it. How many times didn't you look at other phones like these and thought, man, these are just clamshells with a different name? Even if Samsung and Huawei phones folded like a book, not vertically. Well, Samsung and Huawei never gave an odd to clamshell design of old. This may change, though. Guess who is racing to get their foldable clamshells out there, too? Samsung. The tech titan didn't miss the chance to make Motorola sweat a bit and announce the new foldable design exactly like the Razr. Well, almost. No visible hinge or third screen in sight. That's serious competition, folks. Motorola should be wary of the Korean giant. Okay, yeah, I know, Samsung has really screwed things up with the first Galaxy Fold. It came out with quite a few flaws that they just recently fixed. Even so, at the price of almost $2,000, it is a hard sell. And maybe the most important thing? People are still not sold on smartphones that fold horizontally, period. It sounds very complicated. Is there an easier version? But Samsung saw the light at the end of Motorola's tunnel. The Fold 2 phone does more than just borrow Motorola Razr's shape. It refines it by ditching the hinge, at least from the renders they showed. More importantly, though, you can count on premium specs and great user experience. You just know it will come with Samsung's great camera features and Qualcomm's latest chip, which we can't really say about Motorola Razr. On November 13, the phone is set to launch with pretty disappointing specs. A mid-range Qualcomm 710 chip, up to 6GB of RAM and 128GB of storage at most. It kinda looks like it will have a home button or fingerprint reader, but it's not confirmed. It won't have a headphone jack, but it will come with the USB Type-C. Worst of all, it's gonna have a 2730 mAh battery. By the way, the current Galaxy Fold has 4380, while the Mate X offers a 4500 one. So, a battery under 3000 doesn't give us a lot of hope. Guys, Motorola Razr's success isn't set in stone. Specs are the biggest drawback by far. Let's remember that Motorola Razr is a sure thing. Samsung's Fold 2 concept may remain a concept or be on the market next spring at the earliest. Even then, at what price? This Fold 2 concept will fit your pocket, but will it fit your wallet? There it is! <laughs> 
It's beautiful. Take your hat off, boy. That's a dollar bill. China might get a glimpse at the 5G Samsung clamshell this year, but we'll wait and see to believe it. Even so, it will be most likely a China exclusive, like Mate X, the other Motorola rival out there. Huawei is gonna launch it two days after Razr comes out, at almost $2,500. Again, only in China. See a pattern here? Bottom line? Motorola has a once-in-a-lifetime chance. They can be the first to have a foldable clamshell-style smartphone on the market and remain the only ones to do so for a while. At $1,500, the Razr's rumored price, Motorola's foldable phone can be the cheapest yet. They can rule again like in 2004. The only thing we hope they reconsider? Those dreadful specs. With spec kings on the market right now, they can't afford to be the specs clown. All right, this is gonna blow you guys away. Ah! Not at more than $1,000 price. Their only saving grace? And please, Motorola, please, please consider it. Moto Mods. With a Power Pack mod, a 5G one, and even a gamepad sold as a bundle from the get go, Razor stands a chance. At least for a year or so. What do you think? Will the foldable Motorola Razor sell as much as the original? Would you go for a smart clamshell phone today? Don't forget, subscribe and hit the bell button if you want to see more videos like this. See you guys!